3.1 explainer the astronauts going around a centrifuge astronauts use a centrifuge to st simulate the acceleration of a rocket launch the centrifuge takes 30 seconds to speed up from rest to its top speed of one rotation every 1.3 seconds the astronaut is strapped into the seat six meters away from the axis what is the astronaut's tangential acceleration during the last 30 seconds during the first 30 seconds and then b how many g's of acceleration does the astronaut experience when the device is rotating at top speed and each g of acceleration would be equal to 9.8 meters per second squared our objectives to understand tangential and centripetal acceleration to understand motion around a circle understand the relationship between linear velocity angular velocity tangential acceleration and centripetal acceleration so our tangential acceleration is going to be radius times angular acceleration um, angular acceleration is the change in angular velocity with respect to time. So this is found with angular velocity final minus angular velocity initial over change in time. And our angular velocity is going to be 2 pi over t. And t is going to equal to our frequency, 1 over frequency. So we know it's going over, or it's going around a circle 1.3 times 1.3 one rotation every 1.3 seconds so that's going to be our angular velocity so with our knowns we know our radius is six because he's six meters away from the axis he's going around the circle six meters away from the axis so that could be our radius our change in time is 30 seconds and our time is 1.3 seconds for every rotation so we could set this up as 2 pi r over 1.3 times 30 which is 0.966 meters per second squared and that's our tangential acceleration and for b where if an object is moving around a circle at a constant speed the only acceleration is centripetal acceleration we know it's going around at a constant speed because the object is uh rotating at top speed and we're going to try and find how many g's he's rotating around in this so we're going to find the centripetal acceleration. And we know that's linear velocity squared over r. And we know our r was 6 meters. And we know linear velocity is equal to angular velocity times r. We know that was 2 pi over 1.3. So we could set that up. And our equation for angular acceleration is, is, is velocity squared over r. So w r squared over r. So r's will cancel out. It'll just be our angular velocity squared times our radius. We do the math to find our centripetal acceleration to be 140 meters per second squared. And how many g's the astronaut went through? We can just divide that by 9.8 because we know that is how much is equal to 1g. So we know the astronaut experienced 14.3 g's. So what is the difference between angular and veloc linear velocity, and why did this affect centripetal and tangential acceleration? Angular velocity is defined as the rate of change of the angular position. Linear velocity is defined as the rate of change of displacement. Centripetal acceleration is a, res is a result in change in direction, so it's affected by linear velocity, while tangential is affected by change in speed, so it's affected by angular velocity. So... A good way to think about this, I like this one is, so both are going to be moving at the same angular velocity, because that's how much they're moving around the circle, but you see they're going different distances, so they're going to have a different linear velocity. Um, angular velocity is in radians, and that's why we found angular, the difference between angular acceleration and uh, centripetal acceleration is centripetal acceleration is measured in meters per second squared. Angular is in radians, that's why we found the centripetal. Angular acceleration also acts out away from the circle, while we know our, our centripetal acceleration acts towards the center and not away. So this is an example of the angular velocity.